It's, it's the old age, this is the new age. I wanted to come over here to America and show the American public the new era of the fighting Irish. And I brought my whole country with me. We don't, if one of us go to war, we all go to war. What's up people, thank you once again for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, much appreciated. If you are an existing follower, thank you so much for tuning in once again. Apologies in advance for this monstrosity of a t-shirt. Um, no excuses, all right? All right, let's get straight into it. A lot of people have asked me on my Twitter page, Instagram, people I know in general, what's my opinion about Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor? Um, is it bad for boxing? Um, should Conor McGregor have fought someone else before he fights Floyd? Does Floyd, lose any stripes in terms of coming out of retirement to fight an MMA guy with no experience. Um, is, this, is this right for the big 50 and 0 if Floyd does get it, which I'm sure he will? Is this, is this how Floyd wanted to get to 50 and 0? Does he lose anything in that? So there's a few things to go over. Um, it's good timing, right? Because they've just recently released um, their tour dates for the press conferences and the final one will be at Wembley in London. I'll be there for that. I can't wait to see these guys up close and personal. Um, I expect anything from 10 to 15,000 for a press conference, which is ridiculous, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I've been to numerous press conferences and I'm talking, I don't know how many, but you're, you're talking about maximum 100 people. And that's for a big Andy Joshua fight, 100 maximum. And, and 20 of those, 30 of those are press. It's not that big a deal. So when you're talking 15,000 potentially for a press conference, this tells you just how big a fight this is. Maybe not in, in a case of uh, a competitive nature, but in terms of all the build-up, all the money it's gonna generate. And believe you me, um, there's been a lot of talk about will it go over Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather, I think it was 4.4 or 4.5 million buys. I think it will exceed that. Just because you've got Conor McGregor, who's bringing a whole different spectrum, a whole different people. Like, so he's bringing, if you like, all those people that watch Conor McGregor in MMA, and it's been a lot over the years, right? You're all the people that watched the Jose Aldo fight, which was massive numbers, the Chad Mendes fight, which is massive numbers, the two Nate Diaz fights, massive numbers. Uh, all those people, I believe, are gonna tune in for this one. So you get all the MMA crowd, even though it's not an MMA fight, I believe just because Conor McGregor is that superstar in MMA, you're gonna get all those people coming over. Floyd generates all those people already. So Floyd generates, what, a million guaranteed. Conor generates a million plus guaranteed already. So I think you kind of, I know it's simple mess, but you kind of, have, I, I think, without all the casual interest that's gonna generate, I think you almost guarantee yourself a two million plus pay-per-view buy. But then you have people that are just gonna watch it. I have people coming up to me already that have zero interest in boxing or MMA normally. And they're asking me about this fight. They are the ones that are going to tune in. Those are the ones that are going to generate it and push it past, I think, 4.4, 4.5 million buys. I'm expecting 5 million in pay-per-view buys. Um, is it good for boxing? It's a boxing match. I think that's what people kind of need to understand. It still is a boxing match. It still generates interest for boxing, right? It still puts boxing... And that's what it is still, guys. Let's not get carried away with two of the names in it. It still puts boxing on the front and the back pages. It still generates a lot of media interest in boxing. Now, the idea is for boxing, if boxing can somehow retain just a fraction of that media interest, then boxing wins, right? So what the idea of boxing is that boxing is such a hardcore sport. So um, it really does struggle to attract the general casual interest. Um, Andy Joshua seems to be able to do it. Floyd definitely done it. Pacquiao nearly did it. But then you've got great fighters who are fantastic that don't attract any casual interest. Andre Ward, Gennady Golovkin, um, Vasil Lemonchenko, Terence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez to a certain extent. So what boxing needs to do is try and gain some casual interest, some casual followers. This brings the casual followers in. Now it's up to boxing in order to try and retain them. But you can't say that it's negative for boxing because at the end of the day, boxing needs to generate money. And it's funny, it gives the people on the undercard a fantastic platform. So there's potential, what, there's, um, we're talking about Nathan Cleverly, potential on the undercard against Badu Jack, um, Javante Davis maybe on the undercard, Ashley Fiopay maybe on the undercard. It gives those people a chance to get, to get their money, to get their sponsorship deals from outside of what they're going to be paid on the night. So it does 
generate some good news for boxing. On the flip side, I can clearly understand what some boxers are saying. Look, how does Conor McGregor get this opportunity when the likes of Keith Furman, Errol Spence, Kel Brook, uh, maybe even Manny Pacquiao, Danny Garcia, why can't they get the opportunity to take on one of the, one of the greatest fighters ever, the best welterweight we've probably ever seen? Why can't they get the interest? Well, you've got to earn that now. Floyd doesn't care about titles. We know that already. Floyd doesn't necessarily care about names. Floyd cares about one thing and one thing only. Money in the bank. If you can't get Floyd out of bed, it's almost like a, mo a supermodel from back in the day. Remember there was the supermodel slogan about, I only wake up for $10,000. I think Naomi Campbell or someone said that. If you can't get Floyd out of bed or out of retirement or, or guarantee him 50 to 100 million, forget it. All the fighters I've just mentioned, Kelbrook doesn't give you that. Errol Spence certainly doesn't give you that. Keith Furman doesn't give you that. Danny Garcia doesn't give you that. Why take the risk against guys that don't give you that when you can guarantee that plus another 100 million more to fight Conor McGregor? Who would turn that down? I wouldn't. And I think it's fair to say no one else would as well. So why can we expect Floyd to turn it down? Has Floyd not done his due? Does Floyd not deserve this? I mean, he's had 49 fights. He's, per he's performed fantastically over nearly a 20-year career. Can he not do what he wants right now? Can we not give it to him? I mean, I saw an interview with Andre Ward recently on ESPN First Take. And Andre Ward was like, Floyd Mayweather can do whatever he wants to bloody do. Because Floyd Mayweather's put himself in that position where he can dictate and do what he wants. People might hate it, but he's 150 million, 200 million richer. And also, there's intrigue. There is, there is intrigue. I know people might say there's not, and Floyd's going to win. And you know, I've done a little poll on my Twitter page, and a lot of people said that they don't even expect Conor McGregor to win a round. I agree. I think I, I expect it to be a sweat. But he could. He could. There is a bit of intrigue. We're all going to watch it just to see if he could land one. And if he does land one, being a naturally bigger probably stronger, younger guy, what will happen? I mean, we've seen Floyd recently with um, Marcus Maidana swinging a couple of Hail Marys. A couple of them landed. We saw Floyd get wobbled, didn't we? I'm not saying Conor, Conor McGregor is going to win. I'm, I'm far from not saying that. I think it's 99.999% sure that Floyd Mayweather will win, but there's also 0.0001% of me that has a bit of intrigue of what if Conor lands one? I've always felt that Floyd, almost like Mike Tyson, kind of wins before they step in the ring. It's almost a, a, a almost a, a warfare with his mouth, right? And he almost psychs the, most fighters out before he even steps in. Most fighters always believe they've lost. You can't do that with Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor arguably talks a lot better trash talk than Floyd Mayweather. Arguably, he'll get under Floyd Mayweather's skin. Will that count for anything on the night? I don't know. But again, there's entry. And let's also not forget, boxing's an entertainment sport. Yes, we don't want it to become WWE-ish, but it's an entertainment sport, and it always has been, and it always will be. And the entertainers are the ones that get paid. Going back from Muhammad Ali, who was an entertainer in and out of the ring, Prince Nassim Mohammed, entertainer in and out of the ring, Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, although he didn't like to do it, was an entertainer in and out of the ring. The entertainers earn money. This is entertainment. Conor McGregor right now is almost showing boxers how to entertain how to get your name out there, and how to kind of get the big fights. Um, a lot of people seem to think that, and I made Carl struggle with this as well, when he was calling out Mayweather for years. Just calling out's not going to do. You need to antagonize this guy. You need to get on every platform. You need to put yourself up there. When you get yourself up there, which Conor McGregor clearly has, then you start calling out people. Conor McGregor has got to a stage now where you could argue, in terms of pay-per-view in the last... Minus the Manny Pacquiao Mayweather fight, and in terms of pay-per-view numbers, he's like that with Floyd, right? Is that fair to say? I mean, Andre Burton was, what, 500,000? Marcus Maidana, ran, the two fights of him were a million. Guerrero wasn't great. Um, so he's been able to do that with the uh, Jose Aldo fights, so Jose Aldo fights, Chad Mendes fights, Nate Diaz fights. Um, he's been able to put himself a level pegging with Floyd Mayweather. So Floyd Mayweather has to kind of turn and say, okay, who's this dude? Who's this guy? And if we do collide, he brings his own fan base in as well. He promotes us just as well as I do. He brings something to the table. And you have to be fair, guys. Keith Furman, Kel Brook, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, don't do that. And, and this is going to sound crazy because I'm a boxing aficionado. I'm a boxing nut. Just for pure entertainment. 
remember boxing like this is what we kind of need to understand as well about boxing um it's the build-up that sells us as well right um because most times we're so let down by the fights that we almost have to we almost get super excited about the build-up the 24 7 shows the interviews the hbo shows the behind the scenes footage because floyd Mayweather's fights in general especially the last five or six have been quite boring yeah true so you're almost you're almost entertained by the interest before the fight that's what gets you that's what gets you to spend your big bucks on the pay-per-view how could you not be entertained by what conor mcgregor and floyd Mayweather were going to throw up before the fight and that's what's going to get you to pay your whatever you're going to pay whatever country you're in in terms of your pay-per-view package so for me really I'm not super excited about the fight. I'm more super excited about the press conferences and all the build-up that's going to come with it. And another thing, boxing isn't like football or Tour de France or tennis or golf or swimming or NBA or any other of those sports. And I'm a big sports fan. Boxing is super, super dangerous. I say it to everyone. We've had so many shady promoters out there. If boxers can earn fantastic money, and get out, do it. If you can earn 150 million as a boxer, 200 million, 300 million, you've won. You've won. Because right now, boxers are putting their life on the risk all the time and earning thousands. Some, and I know for a fact, are earning hundreds. Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather are down to earn combined potentially $400 million. You know what that means? They've won. But do you also know what that means, guys? They're giving you, the boxers, a blueprint to say, look, don't hate us, copy us. This is how you do it. They're showing you you can make this tremendous amount of money. It's out there to be made, and you should be happy that another boxer and another fighter has been able to do it, rather than show sh throw shade on them and hate them and say, oh, this is a disgrace to boxing, this is a disgrace to the sport, because it's not. They're earning good money and we should applaud them. Because for years, the likes of Bob Arum, Don King, many other promoters have almost shafted these fantastic fighters and they haven't earned a whim. A lot of these boxers that we love right now to this day are broke. Floyd Mayer and Conor McGregor, I don't think will ever fall into that category because they've been able to win. And I like that. They fought the system and won. And I applaud them. And I'll be happy to give my money to them on the night of August, I thought it was 26, because it's all about entertainment for me. Yes, I want to see hardcore fights, and I'm going to get that. I'm going to go, I saw that with Sergei Kovalev, Andre Ward. I'm going to get that when I see Vasyl Levinchenko fight. I'm going to get that when I see Terence Crawford fight Julius Ndongo. I'm going to get that when I see GGG fight Kenan Alvarez. But sometimes I just want a bit of entertainment. And I get that from Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. So to summarise, Floyd Mayweather kicks Conor McGregor's ass. I think we know that. But don't say you're not going to enjoy the build-up because you bloody will. And I can't wait for it. And I think it's proof in the pudding when 10, when 10 to 15,000 people are going to go to Wembley Stadium just to watch a press conference. Boxing wins here. It doesn't lose. It shows people you can earn 300 million, potentially, a fight. That's my thoughts on it, guys. Leave your comments below. What do you think about it? Let me know. Peace.